I'm often asked um, how can we handle uncertainty in times of change and I thought uh, to sketch it briefly here to make it a little bit more tangible. So let's assume this here it is the real little. This is happening constantly around us with or without us and in the reality we start to build our experience. And uh, through the fact that we can't really absorb all the information entirely from what is happening in the reality, we have a filter. The filter is called relevance. Now, we don't always have all the information that we need when we, for example, make decisions, etc. We are building upon assumptions. So we are doing this to fill the gaps. Based on the assumptions, we may have conclusions. And based on the experience, um, the relevance that we built with time, the filter that we create, um, the as assumptions that we have and the conclusions, we have our beliefs. The beliefs also trigger how we react, um, what we do, our behavior, and all that. And here is uh, what we call what is obvious for us. Now, we are standing here and thinking that all this here, what's up here, is obvious. So this is, um, let me call this. individual reality because this differs from from person to person right everyone has different experiences different filter of relevance different assumptions right. now the brain um, loves routines right um, to ensure that we make it uh, efficiently throughout the day so we with time we build our habits our routines and we have our autopilot on yeah and the habits and the routines and the autopilot can be both for the things that we do or also what whatever we think of a thought process now here this here this is all happening unconsciously This is our unconscious mind that triggers our behavior, our decision making, everything that is happening in the conscious world. The habits, the routines and the autopilot not only make sure that we make it through the day efficiently, um, it somehow also excludes everything that is not obvious, right? which is outside of the routine, outside of the uh, daily habits. Uh, to also help us stay stable. So let's assume this here. This is the brain. And there's a technical term that is called homeostasis. Um, the homeostasis is a mechanism of the brain that protects us um, in some way as a system, as, as, as we as human beings, uh, to make sure that we don't, we are not exposed to too much stress. Yeah, so within this bubble, this is the obvious mindset and um, uh, you can also say it's a comfort zone. Now this is also one of the reasons why the brain triggered through the homeostasis because it wants to protect us. Um, why change is considered as threat per se by default. Yeah, this is the routine of the brain. Um, I had shown further down in my Instagram another picture of a bicycle driver who wants to go from A to B. And in our imagination, if we have change ahead of us, 
um, we hope for a smooth journey going from A to B, straightforward. Reality shows it doesn't go that way. It goes up and down, it goes left and right. There are obstacles, there are challenges, there are uh, pitfalls. Um, and through the fact that we have experienced change in the past, this this whole experience throughout a change is being memorized and stored in the brain. And for the next change ahead of us, it sends the watch out feeling. So the uncertainty, the, the fear ahead. Yeah, so the fear and the uncertainty sits here. Fear. Yeah. So the unconscious mind sends already a warning here up front if a change is ahead. That watch out, be careful, changes ahead, um, something uh, difficult will happen. And this might also lead to the first reaction that the change that is coming here kind of bounces, bounces back, protected by, by the homeostasis, by the brain, basically. We don't yet have all the information, all the facts, uh, we don't know the, in, the impact of the change, we don't know how long it takes, um, we might know anything about the change ahead of us, but what the brain does, it sends up front already the signal, watch out, and this creates the fear and the uncertainty. Now it sits here. Now what you can do um, in times of change is first you, you stop your autopilot. Um, because the routine and the autopilot of the brain sends you automatically to the, the fear corner, so to say, in the areas of uncertainty. And to step out of there, you need to open up a little bit your bubble. So I'll try to open it up here uh, to, to become aware of um, where are you really right now? What is the situation? What information am I lacking? Um, what questions do I have? Uh, what can I control? Because in times of change, the initial feeling that is triggered is um, loss of power. So the change is imposed on us, so we can't do anything, which is in most of the cases not true. So watch out for things that you can control. Stop your autopilot and um, revisit your um, response mechanism to change. Because the autopilot might might keep you in the fear corner yeah so watch out for things you can control um, think rethink revisit your um, response mechanism to change and um, stop your autopilot these three three things are the things you can really do in times of change also to step away from uncertainty and the more things you can find to control and you can influence the more the the confidence level will increase that's it so if you have any questions, um, yeah, text me, uh, send me a DM or write uh, down here in the comments and uh, let me know. Thanks. Bye bye.